This is when I look outside and think, what even are cats? Because aren't cats supposed to hate water? What are you doing, Einstein? He's literally just been put. Are you going to sit in the puddle? Yep, he's going to sit in the puddle. I don't understand. What? Leo. You have a warm, dry home. Why are you not in it? I'm getting ready to go out the door as soon as my husband gets home for Sunday night date night. Um, we're going to go get pizza at a local pizza place called Loopy's. It is amazing. And then we are going to go see Rogue One, which I'm really excited about. My friend told me that I should bring tissues, so I guess I should round those up and take them with me because... I'm a crier, so I probably will cry. I think Justin, yeah, he just got home. So I'm going to go head out the door now, which is good because I am hungry. So when I got to work this morning, I put in for early release because I was like, if I'm going to get in any day, I think it might be Monday because I usually overstaff on Monday. And plus it means that I get to actually spend some time with my husband who has Mondays off. So, um, imagine my surprise when at 1.30 or 125 they were like, you can leave at 1.30. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> I was like, out of here. So I went and ran one errand, which was to pick up some Rembrandt's coffee. And it is Chattanooga whiskey, um, Rembrandt's coffee, which is like oak aged coffee. So my best friend Nikki, who I hope is not watching this, um, but I guess this isn't going up until after Christmas, so it doesn't matter. Um, but this is for her because I know she loves it. She lives in uh, South Carolina, so she can't get it as readily. And then I got a thing of it for my husband. Um, and right after I left, I was like, I should have gotten the Chattanooga blend too, just because it's so good. It smells so good. Hilariously, the woman was like, is it for a single drip? I don't know, something about dripping coffee maker and I just stared at her and she was like um and I was like look girl I drink tea I don't know what that means I assume it's a regular coffee maker though now that I think about it my husband uses a french press not an actual coffee maker when he makes ground coffee so maybe that's what she was asking me <laughs> no idea but anyways I'm just thrilled to not be at work and I'm trying to stock up on pokeballs yes I still play this game I'm one of the few I guess um, it's something fun my husband and I do together but yeah I'm trying to stock up on pokeballs and hatch some eggs <sighs> but I'm just thrilled to be off and then three full days and then it's Christmas weekend I cannot believe it's almost Christmas I got a Sephora package and clearly I've already opened everything in the package. Also, excuse my <laughs> stupid looking thumb. I was clipping my cuticles and I made myself bleed, which is pretty much par for the course. Um, but yeah, so I got my Sephora package today and um, I've already opened everything. This one, it's like a Marc Jacobs lip color. It is the same thing as what came in that influencer box so I got the nude color um, but I liked the formula a lot and so I decided to get a color I would actually wear um, and I don't remember what this is called but it's like the mauvey pink color and I like it a lot uh, my husband was like that color looks really good on you so a plus on that um, I also ordered this which is like a collection of fragrances from Nest and they all smell amazing. Um, I am a huge fragrance junkie. Um, one of those other things that you should know about me. I have a ton of like mini fragrances and I actually have a ton, ton of perfumes. I did a perfume collection video year, over a year ago um, and my collection has grown since then. But I really like these because they're all very like woodsy and... Um, I don't know, like musky, and that's kind of what I really like. There are a couple of floral ones, but they also have like an undertone that's kind of musky or woodsy, so I really, really like these. I'm glad I ended up getting them. Um, and with that, I got a ton of freebies. This, which is what's in there, is like the 500 point perk thing, and I got the Glam Glow one because I love the Glam Glow masks. 
I have several of them that I've used up. And then this is really embarrassing, but this is the little VIB Rouge gift. Now, I don't spend enough money to get VIB Rouge, but my mom always does like a big Christmas haul for my sister and me. Um, and she also buys some other things while we're there. And so when she does that, it always is like right at the end of the year and it boosts me over into VIB Rouge. And so I end up with this. So, yes. Um, I, like I said earlier, I got off work early today and it has been so fantastic. Uh, my husband and I went for a walk, which was really nice. And then we went and got Chinese food and now we've been watching Pirates of the Caribbean and I've been trying to catch up on YouTube videos and I saw the absolutely sweet shout out that Mercy gave me that just made my day. What is the cat doing? I mean, what are you doing? What you doing, buddy? Did you find a new spot? Is that where my boots usually are? We're just hiding? Yeah, I don't know. I've been home like five minutes and I'm already heading back out the door to go with my mom to Target because she has to buy some Christmas stuff and I need to pick up something for another Secret Santa thing I'm doing, but I think that this might be my Secret Santa, Booktube Secret Santa package. I don't know. I don't recognize the name or address on the return address, so I don't know. And I want to crack into it right now, but my mom wants to leave in the next five or ten minutes, and so I don't have time to open it up. We also got a bunch of other packages that are over there that have my husband's name on them. And I'm curious about them. One of them is heavy as hell. And it came from Amazon, so I don't know what's in it. But, yes. So many packages. That's one of the ones I was expecting. The other one still didn't arrive. So, fingers crossed, that comes tomorrow. It may just be the week of packages. And I'm probably going to post another unboxing video. I'm, by the time you all have watched this, it'll be like Unboxing Central on my channel. And I'm sorry, but... I didn't have anything planned for this week or for a couple days this week because I thought that some of these things might show up, but I didn't realize that some of the ones that I had planned for the weekend would get pushed to this week and other things would show up. I don't know. So yeah, I love unboxing, so I'm sure none of you are complaining. I just was like, mm, I'm meant to have some more variety during Vlogmas, but that happened. guy is crazy looking getting the last of my shopping done for Christmas uh, I think and I'm headed home to wrap it so we're gonna do an experiment Simon went nuts when I opened the moth box and so we're gonna let him play in it and see what happens So I'm at it again. I'm baking. I'm not, I'm not using that. I'm using these things. Um, sugar, vanilla, peppermint extract, gelatin, salt, corn syrup, KitchenAid mixer, which by the way, this was my grandmother's, uh, my dad's mom. She actually made my parents wedding cake with this. So um, this has been in my family a very, very long time. And I actually have the bigger one that I received for a wedding present, but this is my, my baby. And um, yeah, so that weirdness aside, I am making peppermint marshmallows. Um, my dad requested these and so I'm going to make them for him. Um, I may make two batches and dip some of them in chocolate. We shall see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I have to make them and let them sit overnight. So if I'm going to do anything like dip them in chocolate, I have to do that tomorrow. So, well, safe to say that went horribly awry. So it said small pan. I should have gone with my gut and used the big pan because now I have boiling hot candy down in my stove eye and all over my stove. 
and probably not enough candy to actually make marshmallows. That did not end well, so I ended up going with what I had, put a little more sugar water and corn, starch, uh, corn syrup in there to try to salvage it. Now, it's the right texture and it whipped up correctly. However, then I decided to do what the recipe told me to and put one teaspoon of vanilla and two teaspoons of peppermint extract. Again, I should have gone with my gut and only put one teaspoon of peppermint extract because those straight up taste like toothpaste. Like I gagged when I tasted the fluff. So we're gonna, fingers crossed that um, some of the, I don't know, the, the alcohol kind of extract taste burns off or whatever in the night um, while they set. But I may just be tossing those out and starting over tomorrow morning with new marshmallows because yeah if they taste like the the marshmallow fluff did that's disgusting nothing's gonna salvage that i think simon wants my attention so you want my attention buddy it looks so sad because it's day 23 Ooh, yellow is not my color um, I made this last night. It's the winter solstice tea from um, the Muse Monthly box and I actually really like it. It smells really weird. I don't like the smell um, but I did like the taste of it so yeah it's a good herbal tea. I was being really super snuggly and I was like hmm. I'll come and show you why I think he was being really super snuggly. He's been a naughty cat. Gonna give him coal. So he got into the bathroom somehow and tore up the toilet paper. What a brat. Just so we're clear, this is what marshmallow fluff before you turn it into homemade marshmallows is supposed to look like. That tastes amazing. I haven't added any peppermint yet. What I think I'm gonna do is split it into a couple of different pans so that I will have actual vanilla marshmallows and those are the ones I think I might um, dip in chocolate. So I'm gonna try that um, and then add some pepper just a little bit because I looked up a bunch of different recipes and the amounts varied but that was the only recipe that went so far as to say two teaspoons. All the rest of them were like a half to a teaspoon so yeah toothpaste marshmallows is not a thing today's tea i'm drinking it at like 8 30 at night it's a green tea but it has like pink peppercorns and orange peel in it and stuff like that and it smells like cookie dough <laughs> i said it oh i don't know how to set it down without spilling it set it down so I could actually show you. It is the winter forest green tea from my advent calendar and it is so good. It has, let's see, green tea, orange slices, almonds, pink peppercorn, safflower, and natural flavoring. This is like the weirdest combination of things but it tastes so good. It's Christmas Eve. Good morning, Einstein. Good morning, Einstein. Success. Look at the beautiful marshmallows. Let the Christmas Eve festivities begin. We're on our way to Christmas Eve dinner. Look, he looks like Grandpa. <laughs> We're gonna go eat Christmas Eve dinner and then we're going over to Justin's dad's house for a while before we go to Christmas Eve mass and sing Christmas carols and stuff. And then home to fall asleep, to get up bright and early, to do a bunch of other Christmas stuff. Because there's no sleep in Christmas!
What did you tell me was in there? What? What did you tell me was in there? Joey. Nothing. Joey. <laughs> I mean Joey. <laughs> Joey! Ow, that hit my head. Merry Christmas! I don't have an advent tea to show you because it's Christmas, so they're all gone. <sighs> we didn't go to sleep until way too late, but it doesn't matter because it's Christmas. Foggy Christmas, foggy Christmas, foggy Christmas to you. Do you like my song? They're done. Perfect. Perfect! Oh my god, Caitlin! Uh, well, let me see what this is. Wait for me! You know, no, of course. Uh, they're all for me. I know. They're all for me. Over six Except you didn't used to be able to unlock 20 extra pieces with your baby. iPad. Well, <laughs> you go help me open the it. Yeah, right. I have to Deeper go. Deeper 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 Deeper